Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we have my entire handbag collection video. This is usually the longest but also the most like interesting video that I can offer on my channel. As per usual, this is gonna be quite long so pause this video, go for your coffee, your tea, whatever you're drinking, if it's nighttime for you, wine, couple of snacks and let's get into it. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lou. I am 25 years old and I love handbags, but we also do a little bit of traveling, shoes, fashion, clothing, but mainly handbags. If you like any of those topics, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. So this video is gonna be chatty. It's not gonna be very reviewy of each bag because every bag has its unboxing and probably it also has a review. So if you want to know more about any of the bags, like specifically, I probably have a video on that bag so you can just search for it on my channel and if I don't I'll probably make one because I try to always do a review of the bag but without no further ado let's get into this video the first bag that I will show it's also like a travel bag and it's my Keeple 45 in Makassar which is the Louis Vuitton monogram the classic monogram that we all love with a black trim and I do have Lou here and the strap it's silver hardware this bag is mainly used by my boyfriend right now when we travel he really really likes it he still doesn't say that it's his um, I don't mind him using it because I've been using my Chanel Deville which I really love but I definitely use this one for short trips like weekends I even used to use it as a gym bag I don't go to the gym anymore I exercise in my house I bought the equipment and I do it here but it's definitely a great bag I recommend you that if you're gonna buy the Keeple definitely go with the Makassar because when traveling you never know the weather and you can get it wet you don't have to worry about this one that much it's in the 45 size which is the smallest one I kind of regret going for the 45 and not the 50 the reason why I went with the 45 is because I'm very short and it was also gonna get very heavy because all of the things that I was gonna put inside of this one but at the end of the day it's always on top of the carry-on like the roller so it's not that much of a problem anymore but this is the first one second bag is gonna be my Palm Springs mini from Louis Vuitton and this bag was the first bag that caught my attention like this was the one that made me fall in love with handbags especially luxury handbags I was obsessed with Louis Vuitton it's like the Makassar it's the monogram with the black trim I also have a luggage tag on it and it's the updated version because the other one that I had had quality issues I used to have the reverse monogram one and it was peeling and I was having issues with this part of the bag so when they switched it they didn't have the reverse and I got the monogram one and it's the zipper it's not brushing the top anymore so that was one of the issues that it used to have and it's easier to open and close now so with one hand I can do it no issues the only thing is that this pocket is pretty much useless I don't use it for anything it's always empty and I actually use it as a backpack I know that many people actually don't use it as a backpack but I do I've shown this a couple of times but I only use the long part of the strap because it has two sections so I use the long one and then I just loop it here and that's it you have a short strap the next bag that I have is the Speedy in the Mirabin with gold hardware in the 25 size bandolier I've always said that if you're gonna go with the Speedy definitely go with the bandolier because being able to use the Bag, crossbody and also as a handlebag is amazing and I love the Mirabin because it has the red interior that it's just so 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 pretty I love the print because it has like this chocolatey color I love the Mirabin it's my favorite print from Louis Vuitton even though I only have this bag in the Mirabin um, the hardware is quite tarnished but this is the oldest bag that I have in my collection I love it I don't think that I would ever sell it this bag is really really great I definitely recommend you to go for it I decided to go for the 25 Size because I feel like it fits enough I don't need to put anything else inside the bag and the 30 would look a little bit bulky on me so I really really love this bag the next bag I would say that is the one that I think that's the most useless out of them all and it's the necklace bot shabot and I really really love this one and this is in the mini monogram in reverse and it has this very very cute tab I love this bag and it comes with a strap let me show you 
So here is a strap and I can actually use it as a crossbody bag. I usually don't. I use this bag as an SLG. Like I put it inside my bag and inside I have like my AirPods, hair ties and stuff like that. But if you were asking me for my recommendation, I would go for the one that's a little bit bigger because this one doesn't fit credit cards and one that it's a bigger size than this one actually does. So uh, those are my two cents. I really love it. I don't think that I would ever sell it, but definitely go a little bit bigger if you're interested in this one. I think that it's quite a unique piece if you really love the brand because it's a little bit different than the other bags it's canvas but it's also hard so it kind of reminds me like a tiny version of what Louis Vuitton used to do and that still does uh, that I love and it's trunks it's inspired on the hat boxes that they used to do I find it super interesting and also very cute I, I love the bag I know that we joke about it being my chicken nugget bag but I don't know uh, it has a special place in my heart now this is the newest addition that I have into my collection and Daniele gifted me this bag when I was in fashion week and this is velvet and it's like a belt bag but you can also use it as a crossbody bag and it's stunning I still don't have a review on this bag so it has a turn lock and then you open it and on the inside it has a blue top and the chain I love the bags that Amato Daniele has I'm gonna leave the link to their website on the description box down below but I love the nut bag I'm gonna leave a picture definitely that one is on my wish list love 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 that bag but this one is very very cute it does fit car inside so I think that it's a very practical bag and it's my second velvet bag that I have in my collection right now I'm gonna show you the other one this is my YSL toy Lulu I got it in velvet in black it has a removal strap so sometimes I have a chain that I have from Samorga and sometimes I use the strap that it comes with it's so so good and it has the compartments on the inside I use this bag quite often and I got this one on a sale a YSL sale so I got it like for a very very good price so I really really love this bag I definitely recommend it YSL is one of those brands that I always say that it has a decent price compared to other fashion houses and the quality is amazing highly recommend the toy size but I also like the other sizes there's so many bags from YSL that I like but yeah I really really love this one I have the book tote I used to have it in the large size in the navy oblique but I sold it to get the small one that works a little bit better for me this one is in the toilet de joie print in navy I always loved the book tote since the moment that I saw it I was like like, oh my gosh, finally a big bag because it was in the time where fashion houses were just releasing mini bags and then Dior said like boom a book tote and it was such a huge trend. I loved it so much I was obsessed with my oblique book tote until I realized that it was not that practical for me on a day-to-day -day basis so now that I have this one I can tell you that I really really love it I love the print, I think that it's a work of art. I wanted to put my initials on the back of the bag but I'm still... I don't know if I'm gonna do that. This bag does need an organizer, so mind that. I know that many people think that the trend from this bag is already gone to not buy it anymore, sorry. But if you really like it, I would say go for it. I rebought it when the trend was very well passed and I still think that it's an amazing bag in my collection and I really, really love it. It does have a little bit of wear and tear and I have put some wear and tear on this bag myself because I did buy this one used and it's okay. Like bags are meant to be used. It's a little bit delicate, I'm gonna say. Um, so if you want something a little bit more hard wearing, go for the leather version. Next bag is my Bobby bag. This has been one of my most used bags in the past year and I cannot even tell you how much I like it. It does not fit my phone, however, I find it to be very, very comfortable. On the back it says 30 Montaigne and it has a back pocket, which I love. The closure is not the best. Oh, I have a face mask. Sorry, I've used this bag very, very often. The opening is not the most comfortable, but I would say that it's practical enough. And it has a magnetic closure, like you can hear. On the strap, it might it's still stuck, like when I bought it, I adjusted it all the way through. As you can see here, it was not the smartest thing to do, I know. I cannot undo it, so I'll probably take it to the store at some point to get it fixed. And the hardware has been wearing perfectly fine. The leather is amazing. I love the color. I love the style of the bag. I just think that it's very, very comfortable and pretty. I would get it in the medium size, probably. I really like it. But if I were to buy something else from Dior right now, it would probably be the Lady Dior. Next is Pollen, and this brand surprised me. I didn't want to expect much when I got this bag and honestly I really love it. It's such a good quality. The price point is more than fair in my opinion. I want to try more bags from Polene. This video is not sponsored. I would love to work with Polene though. This is the Numero Wit 
I think so. I really like the way that this bag looks. It's like um, a flower or a mushroom. Very earthy, nature. I love the numero uno too. Um, I really love mini bags that Polina has, especially the new micro ones. So I'll probably order them and I'm gonna do a review video about it if you guys are interested. I've been using this bag quite a lot lately. So if you were gonna ask me, I really recommend it. I do not have the numero uno, which is like the most famous one that the brand has. So I would have to test that one to give you more of a knowledgeable review but by now I can tell you that this one is very much worth it and the brand is excellent when it comes to quality now let's go with Chanel I think that it's not a secret that Chanel is my favorite brand I since I was very very young I always love the bags especially classic flaps so it's the predominant brand in my collection it's the one that I have the most bags from so you know this is that no judgment zone so let's get into my Chanel collection I will grab them randomly because I have them like right here so the first one this is my Chanel mini square and this is in a baby pink from the 2019 spring summer collection in lambskin with aged gold hardware this bag I got it in a trip to Rome I was in Rome with my boyfriend and I really wanted to get something from that collection and when I saw this mini in this pink I fell in love with it I just love the lambskin this was my first lambskin bag I believe and I fell in love with lambskin after this one it's my favorite favorite leather from the brand way more than caviar and calfskin so it can hold quite a lot I don't have any issues I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max and it does fit inside the bag with no issues it's such a cute bag and I think that it's a perfect size to add a color like pink I would never ever sell this bag I love it so so much definitely reminds me a lot of the trip and they had in the same collection this caviar that was like iridescent it was very 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 pretty very popular but I kind of wanted to go more for lambskin next one is one of my favorites this is one of the most special bags that I have in my collection and this is my light blue or Tiffany blue how we call it in the luxury community it's a Tiffany blue medium classic flap in this shiny caviar with champagne gold hardware or light gold which is an in-between of gold and silver it's personally my favorite hardware from the brand because it's not such a harsh gold but it's still gold and this one is from the 2020 Yes, this is from the 2020 Cruise Collection and there was a year before the 2019 Cruise Collection that had a very similar shade of blue, but it was a little bit lighter. That was the first time that I tried to get the bag. I was not able to score the bag, so I tried again a year later when I was able to save enough to get this bag. Back then, the classic flop was like 5,200 euros. If I remember correctly, I was not ready when the first light blue was released and when this second one was released, I was in Paris it was such an amazing and unique experience for me that I got this bag from Rue Cambon on New Year on a trip to Paris and like the odds of me to find him because this was so hard to find it was sold out everywhere it never came to my country so I was very very sad and I honestly thought that I was not gonna be able to get it like ever I even made my peace with it but I was very very lucky with finding such a nice sales associate in Paris so I have it I always loved blue since I was really Really, really young so for me finding this one was so 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 special next one is a 19 bag and I had like this love relationship with a 19 bag when it got released because I was not sure about it if I really liked it because of the thick chain and the change of hardwares and like the CC it's just a little bit different than what we were used to at the time when it was released but I got the chance to try the bag at the store and I definitely fell in love with it because it's such a comfortable and like squishy bag and the lambskin is so so soft and this one oh my gosh it was so hard to get I was obsessed with this color way before it was released which is like my color palette I love beiges I love browns I love whites and I love blacks like I'm definitely someone that likes neutral colors and I saw a trendy CC in a very similar shade of color a couple of years back and I got obsessed with it I was not able to find it ever again and now when I saw that this one was released I saw the classic flop and I saw a 19 bag it's so beautiful it looks like something that you could eat because of how shiny and buttery it looks the 19 bag has a back pocket and on the inside it's super roomy I do start this bag with back pillows inside because it's not a structured bag so it definitely I needed to keep the shape and maintain the bag the best that I can it's from 21p next bag is my vintage Chanel
Chanel classic flap and this bag is from 1995 and it's in lambskin this has the gold plating which is something that I kind of wish that Chanel kept doing and it's in the small size in light beige I got this one from season to consign I loved adding a vintage classic flap I would love to add more colors like black white etc but this shade was perfect because it's like a dark beige I enjoy this bag so much it's so easy for me to use I think it's amazing to find bags that are like 25 years old or more and still be in such a good condition because that shows that you know what you're buying is definitely something that it's gonna last and that I can potentially pass down to my kids this bag is amazing I use it a lot I actually know that a lot of people don't like the deflated like flat quilts that the vintage bags have I actually really like it I find it to be very unique and like it gives it a little bit of a different look and the color is just perfect the next one is my jumbo and this bag i bought it pre-loved it's in caviar with silver hardware yes it's big and yes it's a little bit heavy i love this bag i would never sell this bag because the price for what i got it versus what it is now i would never like no and i know that at some point i'm gonna need a bigger bag i'm using it a little bit more now it was stored for a while like especially during the pandemic i was not using it that much uh, but now I'm reaching out for it a little bit more I really like the fact that you can use this one as a double strap I use the mediums and the smalls as crossbody and shoulder strap and this one as double I find that the drop is quite comfortable I cannot wear this one crossbody because it's just too long is it heavy yes a little bit but fits a ton inside so I find it to be very much um, worth it to keep for me because I will eventually need to take more things with me I love this caviar for me it was so specific but like I want a caviar jumbo because my black medium is in lambskin and I also got it in silver hardware because it makes it a little bit more casual like silver and caviar makes it a little bit more casual and lambskin and gold it's a little bit more like dressy or bougie I love classic flap so much like I could talk hours about different combinations and things that I would add and change and I, I don't know I love classic flops I wanted a very shiny caviar and this one is um, I, I love it it's stunning this bag is around 10 years old and the quality I can see the difference compared to my newer bags so this caviar was really good I think it was a very good year in my opinion next is my boy bag I know that many people say that the boy bag is very outdated not fashionable we don't like it anymore I had I used to have the old medium size and I sold it to buy the small reason is because I find this one to be a little bit easier to wear on a day-to-day -day basis looks better on my frame and it's more comfortable crossbody I think that the boy bag is an amazing back crossbody I don't know what's my reason to like the boy bag so much I just feel like it's such an edgy casual bag from Chanel that I want to hold on to it I really like it I enjoy using the bag I love it I see it and I really like it honestly I just feel like it's a gorgeous beautiful bag mine is in calfskin with aged gold hardware small size however you have to be careful when you're storing the bag because it can get a lot of corner wear so try to store it somewhere that it has like a soft surface to sit next is my Chanel 19 bag and this is in the tweed and it's like a black and white tweed I call it cookies and cream or Oreo bag <sighs> I saw this bag when it was gonna be released and I was instantly in love with it you guys saw the video when I reviewed the collection like for the ones that usually watch um, my Chanel collection reaction videos saw it and I was like so pretty I need it I love it and it was so hard to find it's such a soft comfortable bag I'm definitely scared of using it sometimes because I know that it's too it and that it can get stained I don't drink coffee close to it and I'm very careful that my hands don't have makeup when I'm touching the bag but it's so pretty it's one of my favorite bags in my entire collection and it's so comfortable so soft so easy to use it fits a ton I definitely adore this bag I got it from Red Lux. I paid a little bit above retail for it but for me it was worth it because I knew that I was not gonna come across a tweet like this in a very long time and still haven't seen a tweet that I like that much since the day that I got it because I like tweet I always wanted a tweet bag but finding the perfect tweet like I never found it until now 
and I love it. The gold hardware, the pink contrast that it has, it's just perfect. Oh, both of my 19 bags, I forgot to mention, both of them are in the small size and I definitely love the 19 bag. Next bag is my medium in the gray from 19B. This is 19B. Um, this is Lambskin with silver hardware. Most of my bags are in gold, but some of them I specifically want in silver because I just feel like it goes so well with the bag. That same year they released a caviar in a darker gray, but this one was perfection for me. The color, I just, when I saw that it was gonna be released, I knew that I wanted it. I had been waiting for a gray for such a long time because it was just so hard to find. Chanel does not produce grays so often, and this one was like, the the perfect shade I just I find great to be such a great neutral and very easy to pair with anything and the silver and the lambskin this is more of a matte lambskin let me show you my pink mini so you can see the difference between both so look how this one shines and okay kind of with the video it does shine but in person this is way more matte than this one this one is shinier and this bag is three years old it has its fair amount of use and it's in amazing condition it's pristine i can repeat lambskin is amazing it's very easy to take care of just need to be a little bit careful but you need to do that with any bag this one taught me how to take care of lighter shades a little bit more than the pink one because i've used this one a little bit more than the pink one i love gray i feel like it's a very special bag the only one here that i can definitely point out you're not gonna be able to see it but it's on the bottom it has a little bit of dents but that's as I said, it has no order, but I got this one before my 19 bag. Just so you know, I was very hesitant to get the 19 bag after I got this one because I didn't know if I really wanted two bags in the exact same shade. Let me show you. I feel very lucky that I was able to score the classic flap and the 19 bag. And this was, I think this was my first small classic flap. And this is also in the caramel from the 21P collection with light gold hardware, Lambs King. It's a very beautiful lambskin. This bag is... Oh, I was so happy when I was able to find it. Um, if you go to the unboxing. I've been using this bag so, so, so much. This color for me is very easy to use. Same as black. I honestly feel like white, brown, and beige are something that I can use on a day-to-day -day basis. No problem. Love this one so, so much. I don't think that I would ever, ever sell it. No warranty at all. It's such a perfect shade. I'm actually really glad that Chanel kept producing similar shades of this bag. I think even they replicated it so that's interesting because I usually don't do that because it was very very popular so uh, you're gonna see on this video that I very much like the shade of color this is my white classic flap this is in the small caviar again champagne gold hardware this bag I wanted it for the longest time it looks a little bit wider on the camera but it's actually kind of a creamy ivory color it's so beautiful it's so perfect I love this bag I use it so so much if you follow me on Instagram you're gonna see it so much on my feet I feel like a white bag adds so much to an outfit and the moment that I lost the fear to white bags I went and pulled the trigger and I'm very happy that I did because because this bag has added so much to my wardrobe that I just love using it with pretty much anything. I am definitely mindful with the specific clothing that I use it with, but it's still perfect. No color transfer whatsoever. One of my most used bags of last year, hands down, like no competition. I find it very easy to style with any other colors. Now this bag, I know that it looks quite similar usually on the camera to the blue, but it's not. First of all, this is in the small size in Lambskin and this one is a medium in caviar and one is tiffany blue and the other one it's like a minty green sage green i would say this bag is gorgeous i've been using it so much and i fell into the green trap i was not a green person a couple of years ago this is so pretty i got this one very very recently i unboxed it with georgia from relux um i got it from them light gold hardware lambs king i am very much in love with this bag i cannot even explain it but I see it and I see the green and I'm like oh my gosh it's so so pretty I wish that I had gotten into colors a little bit earlier I know that everyone would tell me like why don't you add more greens more yellows more purples and I, I promise that I want to get more into it and the first one that I wanted to get it was this green super pretty 
I forgot the specific collection this bag is from, but I'm gonna put it on the screen. This green is like the most perfect shade of green that I've ever seen in a Chanel bag. I also really like the one from Cruiser. It's like a lighter one with caviar, but I wanted to be a little more truthful to my taste in bags and I wanted to wait for a lambskin. Of course, my black classic flap, this is in the medium. With the gold hardware, I used to have this bag in caviar with silver hardware, but I decided to switch it. I sold it and I got it in lambskin with gold. I think this is a little bit more me and my style and my taste. I'm very happy that I did it. I loved my caviar bag, but I have my jumbo in caviar and I feel like, I don't know, this fills my heart a little little bit more it's so soft and buttery and luxurious I adore my black classic flap I've always said that this would be one of the bags that if I were to keep only one I would be between this one and maybe my black Birkin but I've traveled a lot with this bag and you can see like how perfect shiny and beautiful it is I don't regret for a second going for lambskin especially with black like with black I feel like it's so beautiful I just really like this bag and my last Chanel, it's my Duville. I think this is the extra large and it's basically what I need for college and work. Um, I have a MacBook 16 inch, so it's quite big and heavy. So I needed something like this. Um, I'm currently in use, so it has a ton of things inside. It's exactly what I was looking for and the specific pattern and the colors, it's very, very much me. I find it very practical it has a lot of pockets for traveling for pretty much anything that you need i was very hesitant to add the duville to my collection because of the price point but so far it's been exactly what i needed and what i was looking for and i'm really happy that i ended up deciding to go with it because yeah it's been great and very practical for me now the last brown that i have in my collection is Hermes. so i think this one's i'm gonna do it chronological so the first one that i got was my birkin 25 in black togo with gold hardware and this bag was I cannot even explain like what happened through my head the day that I was offered this bag it was like pinch me moment it's such a comfortable bag I love the fact that it's so easy to take things in and out I don't know the size is perfect for me I am 5'1 so 25 size is what looks a little bit more proportionate I would be very much open to try 30 but I really cannot express enough how comfortable in a great bag it is at least for me last year it was this bag the white classic flap my bobby bag probably my black classic flap too like my most used bags throughout the year so yeah this was the first one and it definitely has such a special place in my collection i adore the bag next one is my kelly also 25 this is in epsom leather the color is called verte de gris which is a uh, green with gray in gold hardware in the salier style the kelly has two different styles and it's a return and the salier and this one is salier which is more structured i think the color is so 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 unique i've never seen like something like it that it changes that much with lining because sometimes you can see the gray on the bag like I think that right now it looks great but usually under the sun it definitely looks green and it's a gorgeous gorgeous color it's so unique I've never seen it like I could not find anything online and if I found pictures all of them were so different so I had no idea how it actually looked in person and the moment that I saw it I was like oh my god the color is amazing I was in love with it instantly and it's very easy to pair it like for being a green because it's such a like neutral because of the specific shade of green I have have no issues pairing with with pretty much anything Hermes definitely does amazing colors and this one is no exception next one is my picotin in the 18 size clemens leather clemens leather the grains are a little bit bigger than in togo and it's like more slouchy it's definitely a slouchy bag it's in nata with silver hardware and it has the contrast on the edges this bag definitely needs an organizer i was amazed by how much i actually like the bag i never thought that i would like a bucket bag as much as i like like this one but it's so comfortable it's so pretty it's so easy to use and grab and go i definitely recommend this one if you wanted to get like your first Hermes bag and you cannot get a quota bag because i know like the end game is a Birkin or a Kelly but I definitely feel like there's so many bags that the brand has that are so so worth it and that have a lot to offer and I think the Picotin is one of them I definitely prefer it over the Evelyn I don't know I would like to add a Constance to my collection but would I add another Picotin definitely yes not in the 22 size I think that's a little bit big for me but this one yeah and I could add a strap to it if I find one and make it like a shoulder crossbody bag the next one is my first and only wallet on chain that I have and this is my Kelly to go and I got it in gold Epsom 
with gold hardware. The strap length of this bag is perfect for me. I really love to use the bag, it's very practical. I used to not really like wallet and chains, but I take my words back, I was wrong. They are indeed practical. It fits my phone, it fits my cart, it fits cash, it fits my keys and lipstick, like anything that I could need to run an errand or to just be very comfortable because it's very small, very lightweight. You barely feel it, like it definitely changed my mind. This is also not a quota bag, so it's something that you can go into the store and ask for for it definitely recommend it if you if it's like your first bag maybe go with the black but gold is it's stunning it's my favorite shade besides black i love this bag so much and i use it so much i usually have it even inside my big bags when i carry my deville i have this one as a wallet inside and if i want to run an errand i leave the big tote in the trunk or something and then i take this one with me if you don't want to bring like the big bag with you so that's amazing also for traveling with your passport and everything just overall a great great bag next this bag i got it for my 25th um like my birthday i got this one in november and this is a Vintage Kelly 28. I, this is from 1995 too. Same as my classic flap, both are from 1995. I am from 1996. It's like almost my birth year, but not really. This bag, I got it from Le Prix. They sell vintage bags. It's my first 28 size, like my first bigger than um, 25. I've used it so, so much. My first trip with it was in New York and it fits a ton. It's amazing for traveling and it's in box leather. I would say that so far, it's probably my favorite leather from the brand. It's super, super shiny as you can see. And for being a 26 year old handbag, it does have its scratches. I'm not gonna lie, it does have its scratches, but it's still an amazing condition I always get compliments on the bag because people kind of know that it's vintage because like in person it looks a little bit more used and I really like the way that it looks it's such a perfect bag and same as with a classic flap what I'm gonna say is that you can definitely see how the bags age and then I cannot wait to see like how my bags are gonna look like in 25 years that's gonna be crazy I do have a comparison video between the 28 and the 25 in case you want to check that out if you are a little bit undecisive I would say that going for vintage when it comes to Hermes is an amazing way to go if you cannot get it offered at the store and you don't want to spend the buck on something new on the pre-love market vintage is amazing the quality is great so if you can find a box leather Kelly in the 32 or 28 size I would definitely say go for it and the last bag from the video is gonna be my Birkin 25 in gold in Togo leather with gold hardware this bag you guys know the story about this bag. The first time that I was offered my black Birkin, this one, I was also offered this one. It was very hard for me to choose between both. So the day that I bought this one, I left this one at the store for someone else to get. I do not regret taking with me the black one, but I was always like, I don't know what I need to do. I don't know what needs to happen, the stars to align for me to get offered again the same one. The gold in 25 size togo leather with gold hardware because I didn't want it with palladium. I wanted gold hardware. And I honestly thought that it was not gonna happen. I, I knew that it was not gonna happen. I had no hopes. I just told my essay that I would be very, very happy to have and own both. The moment that it happened, I was like, that's it. I don't need more luck. <laughs> if nothing else is offered to me ever again, I'm completely fine with it because I have the two bags that since I was a teenager, I was like drooling all over in the two colors, like black and gold. These two bags are my babies. I love them and take care of them so so much it's honestly such a comfortable and cute bag and it's very casual i am a very casual dresser and i find the birkin to be super casual so what can i say i love them they're my babies i don't think that i would sell any of the bags that i showed you on this video all of them are have a very special place in my collection and in my heart but with a move i don't know i don't think so i don't plan to but if it's needed bags are just material goods so so this was it Thank you so much for watching this super, super, super long video. If you have any questions about any of the bags, please leave it in the comment section down below. I'll make sure to answer. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're not done watching, I'm gonna leave you two videos right here. Thank you so much and see you on the next one. Bye.